YouTube, what's happening? Word, word, word. It's a baby Mario. Don't ask, I'm in a weird mood. I've been getting shit done all day, like flying around. Like, work was. I don't know, work was work. Still in the stupid, I can't do anything, but I'm trying to do everything kind of things. And I got a lot of shit done when I got home. But, uh, what I'm gonna talk about today is financial prioritizing. So, how good are you guys, or how bad are you, at buying the shit you need over the shit you want? I mean, bare essentials out of the way, like paying rent and shit. Like, for example, right now, I'm really interested in a PlayStation Vita. And I've got about $400 in parts that I want to buy to put on my motorcycle, like a new exhaust, mirror block offs, block off plates, a bar and mirror. Um, I want some new gloves. So, I got all this shit that I'm interested in. But, I need O2 sensors for my car. Both of them need replaced. I got a piston that's misfiring sporadically. Only when it rains, but I only drive my car now when it rains. So, it's a conundrum. So, how good are you guys at prioritizing? I know me personally, I'm not the best at it. Um, like for example, really big example, this ZX6R I'm sitting my ass on right now. Probably could have waited on that one. I could have been in a slightly better financial situation if I had bought it like next month. But I had to have it when I got it, a month and a half ago. So, that's my own foolishness. But... Financial prioritizing is not something I've always been the best at. I've gotten way better at it over the years. I mean, I actually have a credit score that's going up now instead of just fucking flying around down low. I spent the better part of a decade dodging debt collectors and shit like that. And now I'm finally in a place where I'm doing well for myself and parents are all proud of me and shit. Which is not bad. I'm not complaining about that. I love my parents. But, um... I just find that I am so good at spending money, it disappears so easily, and I hate dealing with cash, and yet dealing with cash seems to be the only way that I'm able to really assess how I'm doing financially. So I'm kind of in a sticky situation where I don't really know how to handle my finances anymore. I'm actually, at the end of the summer, going to be 100% out of debt for the first time since I hit adulthood. I mean, I was 17 and I already had college loans pulled out against me. So, a decade, an entire decade of life with debt. You know, I'll be entirely out of debt except for this bike. Excuse me. I got payments on this bike. But, like, student loans will be all paid off, credit cards will be all paid off, and that's an absurd feeling for me, but for you guys to ride out there, and especially, not especially, but I am extremely curious about the, about the moto vlogging community, community in general, to the other moto vloggers and to all your subscribers. How are you guys doing this? Are you guys barely pinching pennies together? Or are you guys rolling around in riches and not having to worry about shit? I mean, you think about the startup costs on doing this shit, it's fucking expensive. Yeah, you gotta get the bike, which you're pushing at least three grand for a decent bike. And upwards of 10 to 15 for some of the top end bikes new. Then on top of that, you got the cost of 
your GoPro, cost of all your gear, your cost of your microphone setup, which a lot of you guys, almost all the moto vloggers nowadays are rocking the Senna setup, which is cool, I can respect it, but I have no use for it myself because I never ride with anybody, but it's still pretty fucking sweet. So, did you guys slowly save up and piecemeal together that shit, or did you have it already? What do you what did what did you guys do? What do you guys think? Let me know. Comment, comment, comment. Um I also want to say that right now Chase on Two Wheels is having a promotion because he's about to hit a hundred thousand subscribers. So he is uh doing this cool ass thing. He he called up Senna and he called up Sport Bike Track Gear and he's giving away a Senna SMH10 Bluetooth device. He's giving away a GoPro backpack. Send a GoPro backpack so um, you'll be able to record your voice and anybody who's talking to you on your GoPro as you go, which is cool as fuck. And he's giving away a GoPro. Didn't say what kind. I don't know if it's a white, silver, or black. But he's giving away a GoPro. So I gotta give him props for that. And the contest ends when he hits 100,000 subscribers. You guys need to check that out. He just posted a video on it today. So if you're interested in that shit, you want to get into the motor vlogging community, that would have been fucking ideal for me like six months ago. Not even six months ago, three months ago. But now I've got the GoPro, I've got the mic, I've got everything I need. I'm not rocking out with the Senna. I don't have the GoPro backpack. I don't have a sincere need for either of those right now either. If I eventually find some people to ride with regularly, sure, I'll pick it up. But why get it just to have it, you know? So that's all I got for you guys right now. I'm just curious about how your finances work if you ride and all that, because I take this as a very much, it's an integral part of my life now that I do it, but I won't deny it was a fucking expensive ass toy to buy. But totally worth it still in my mind. So how do you guys handle it? What do you guys think? Let me know, hit me up in the comments, go ahead and like and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of shit, and I will talk to you later. What? Nice bike.